So here I'm going to be talking about a dynamic lip syncing tool that I made in Unreal using a audio visualization plugin that pretty much only gives you nodes for giving float values for the frequency and the amplitude of any audio tracks they're getting put through. And I'm just going to do a little walkthrough on things I did and probably where I could improve it as well. So just first off, here's a little demo using multiple characters off of a single animation blueprint. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me, my lover stands on golden sand. All right, so works decently well. Pretty happy with the results overall. Since this was made for a VR game that I worked on recently that didn't necessarily require this, this was more of a side project and had to be put on the back burners a lot, and therefore it has just a handful of face shapes. Here, I'll show them to you. Uh, using just a enum to switch between them. So it'll look right here. That's just the neutral. Using facts, I chose a few of the most commonly used face or mouth shapes rather. E, F, M, R sounds, L. And it just switches off between in this uh, state machine. And it'll use the amplitude to determine how much of that mouth shape will be expressed while using the while using the frequency to determine what mouth shape to make. So this is the main part of it. Uh, so first it gets called, it creates a sound file. Then it gets the amplitude from the start time of the game. And this is the sort of the rate in which it gets, or in which it samples the amplitude, gets that, stores it. And I reduce it a bit because the amplitude is a bit high normally. Same thing with the frequency. Starts at game start. This is the how often it samples it. You can have it between multiple frequencies, uh, or rather multiple channels. And just as a little demo of how the frequency is read out, you'll see it on the left side here. Somewhere. And that's the Beyond frequency the sea, of the wavelength. And using that, I was able to create the syllable parser where it actually prints it out as a series of numbers that are both negative and positive. And just to simplify that for me, I got the absolute value and I rounded up. So after that, it was essentially trial and error to see what frequencies with, with what mouth shapes. And normally it tops out around 26. So using that, I put that through here. I've also added in a handful of emotions that can be added onto the mouse shapes, as well as a random blinking, just so the character seems a little bit more alive. I'll show you the other emotions as well. Somewhere so beyond normal, the sea, happy, somewhere uh, waiting for angry, and sad. Me. My lover stands on golden sands and what? So, yeah. 
All this over here is just spawning the sound file and making sure that it works, setting up things like Headsway and the animation blueprint. Also something important to note is that the audio file will normally trigger after the beginning of the game, so it's important to put a delay on here so that the, the lip syncing doesn't start ahead of time. Because it's not reading it as it's playing, it's taking the sound file exactly out of Entic and getting the values. So yeah, that is just a quick rundown of my lip syncing tool. Uh, feel free to ask any questions, and thank you for watching.